so I have been reading Herman Melville's Moby Dick and it has convinced me that IQs have been dropping since the late 19th century. It is amazing. It's so beautiful. It's very impressive so far and uh, you know there is a way of writing scripts and then there is a way of writing novels and to write a great novel That would be great. Perhaps I'm not ready yet. Now, oh, perhaps I am, but Herman Melville and Moby Dick is amazing. Elegant and full of vigor and you know you probably couldn't make a movie or a TV series out of it of course you could and they probably have but it will be nowhere it will be nothing compared to the book That's not to say that movies or TV are worse. They all just... Books, movies, TV, art, anything. It's all different descriptions. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. That's the truth. So, now I am glad that I did not write Resonance as a novel for now that is my feeling who knows because novels you can describe the inner world in a way that TV and film does not it is a description of an outer world that combines to point towards the inner world maybe novels can be a or are a better describer of an inner world that points to an outer one these are incomplete thoughts but Herman Melville's Moby Dick um, only at the very start only a few chapters in but it's just very nice slow but he'll just start describing a town and then a person in the town how he slept how he woke then a chapel then the people in the chapel how they lived how they died it's great and it's renowned 
for being a masterpiece. And it is really a masterpiece. Already <laughs> a few chapters in. You know, it. you don't even need to read the beginning, middle and end to know that it is great. Or would I know that it was great had I not known that it was great before reading it? There is greatness in every line, it seems. Or am I just giving it undue respect because of the reputation that precedes it? I don't know, it seems pretty great. And packed with life and would give you a taste for adventure and perhaps a taste for a time that no longer exists. The enthusiasm of the writing points to a different era a more dangerous era and perhaps a more exciting one there is no anxious frustration there is a bold sense of adventure and acceptance of mortality and a true belief of the soul living beyond the flesh which is something we have forgotten in this modern world methinks And it's clever. And I can see the structure of it as well. It's subtle and simple. So I will continue reading Moby Dick by Herman Melville.